It's no secret that the lakes north of Winnipeg are polluted with algae and it's the farmers down south here that get the blame for that as putting too, many, too much nitrogen in, into the lakes. That, that's actually a misconception, it's not true. When we were looking for a new industry, we thought uh, we should try and do something that is not uh, possible to be perceived even as uh, being non-environmentally friendly. Then we started selling uh, this epoxy that had no odor and no smell. It is made from soybeans, beans and peanuts. Some of our customers started buying the product based on the fact that it's eco-friendly. And so we bought the name and the distribution rights. Our customers love it, but who actually makes it? And eventually we found the manufacturer and we were very excited about that. And so I flew to the U.S. to meet with the chemist who invented this product. And I said to him, my first question to you is, what percentage is soybeans? And he looked at me with a look I'll never forget. And he said, 0.00. Um, How is that possible? And he said, who told you there are soybeans in there? And I said, your customer who bought from you who sold to us. He said, that was misinformation. There is no such a thing. I remember coming home and thinking, I'm in trouble now. And so I came home and I met with a consultant friend of mine. I said to him, I'm in trouble and I need to shut down our business. And this uh, consultant looked at me and he didn't seem concerned. And he said, uh, why don't you go ahead and do this yourself? And I said, I can't do that. And he said, wrong answer. Hire a chemist and get to work. So the next day the chemist came out and I said to them, look, we're farmers and we grow soybeans. And I put a container of soybeans in front of him and I said, can you turn this into epoxy? And he looked at it for a while and he thought about it and he said, I believe I can. And I said, congratulations, you're hired. About three or four months later, uh, the chemist comes to me and say, uh, this newest formula here is 50% uh, biocontact. We're blown away almost every day by a new use that a customer had come up with and used our products in ways we could not have imagined. So many different uses that they're just incredible. Our customers ended up using what we manufactured as a coating and they started doing art with it. They started applying it to different surfaces like wood, canvas, and they added other pigments and the things they came up with blew us away. The imagination is the limit. If you can imagine it, you can make it.